Hi everyone, this video is about the anarchist and activist Carrie Feldman. Carrie was recently summoned to testify before a federal grand jury. Holding to her principles, she refused to answer any of their questions. I support Carrie and the choices she has made. This video is more than just a show of support. It is a call, not just for anarchists and not even anti-statists, but to anyone who sees the injustices of our legal system. This goes past obligation. Make no mistake, it is necessary for us to support those who would fight for our freedoms. Carrie is doing just that. She stands face to face with a foe who acts indiscriminately and without remorse. More than that, Carrie stands alone. Who amongst you will stand with our sister, our comrade? I ask nothing more of you than what you would hope for in her situation. For the moment, our options are limited. However, there are steps we can take to show our solidarity. Make your videos, write your blogs, make your posts in the forums you frequent, message your friends and family, encourage others to do the same. If all you do is make a 10 second video saying, I support Carrie Feldman, then you will have done something worthwhile. I'm now gonna read to, uh, read to you the latest update from Carrie's website. <clears throat> I'll post a link in the description so that you can view it for yourself. Quote, Today I had my first appearance before the federal grand jury in Davenport, Iowa. I was, represented, I was represented by a federal public defender, although he could not be present in the grand jury with me. After reading a brief statement expressing that I would not testify, I was released with a subpoena to reappear before the grand jury again on the 17th of November at 9 a.m. It is likely that at this time I will be held in contempt of court for continuing to remain silent and could face jail time up to the length of the grand jury. It convenes for 12 months total, which leaves 11, 11 remaining after my November appearance. We are still looking into legal questions regarding how long they could hold me. Although the prosecutor has still not been forthcoming as to what they are investigating me for, I now feel confident in assuming that they are looking into an ALF action that occurred at the University of Iowa in 2004. Many different signs, including a question from one of the jurors, have indicated this. Some info about federal grand juries in Iowa. The federal grand jury in Iowa has sessions for two days at a time, once a month. They are convened for 12 months at a time. There is always a grand jury going on and they, ha and they hear a variety of cases. They are not convened for any specific thing. They are secret. And even the public defenders working those cases are kept very much in, d in the dark. The current grand jury convened on October the 14th. Here is a statement that Carrie read to the grand jury. First of all, I would like to state unequivocally and most certainly for the record that I have no intentions of testifying before this grand jury. Based on information from the prosecutor indicating that I may be the target of this investigation, I am invoking my Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. But beyond that, I am refusing to cooperate based on a sincere belief that to do so would run counter to my deeply held convictions and values. Grand juries were originally created to prevent arbitrary indictments, but are now used as a tool of the prosecution to gather information. Grand juries undercut basic rights supposedly granted in the Constitution by denying access to counsel and coercing testimony. They are now, and have been for some time, used to investigate and intimidate those who would express dissent. This is only effective when we are complicit, when we are frightened, when we are divided, Today my voice may waver as I stand alone in this room, but I know I speak with the voice of every one of my friends, loved ones, and comrades when I say this. We will not be intimidated. We will not cooperate. I have nothing more to say to you. Going on with Carrie's update, she says, Thanks to everyone for how much support I've gotten already. It means so much to me to know that you have my back. If you want to stay updated on my case, visit supportcarry.wordpress.com. And remember, stay safe, stay strong, and fuck grand juries. End quote. I'm going to end this video with a message not just to Carrie, but to all of you who would dare stand in the opposition, in opposition to the system. The people are watching. We love and support you. Though at times you may feel that your actions are for naught, I assure you they mean the world to people like me. When feeling small and insignificant, know that you are truly the heroes of your generation. Our combined actions will build a better world, a world that we may not see realized in our lifetime, but one that is only possible by the foundation we create today. 
stay strong, remain vigilant, and know that you are not alone.